Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant, relevant tips, trends, and talking all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we're going to be kicking off a new series that's going to take us throughout 2022. I have designer, author, speaker, Holly Germati coming back to join us. She was on before the holidays, giving us some tips on how we can simplify our holiday season. Well, she's going to be coming back the third Tuesday of each month to talk about her making busy, beautiful mindset, why that's important and how it can help us in our everyday lives. Today, Holly's going to come on and explain and talk about what the Making Busy Beautiful mindset is. And then each month, she's going to come back and take us through the process so that by the end of 2022, we are all going to be making busy beautiful. So let's see if we can get Holly on to join us. Holly! <laughs> Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Happy New Year. And thank you so much for joining us today. Anytime. <laughs> oh, so great to have you. I, you know, I just introduced you and let everybody know that you are going to be coming back once a month throughout the year and you are going to be taking us through your making busy, beautiful mindset. Um, if there's anybody who understands busy, it is you, mom of five, professional designer, author, speaker. Um, you have just a couple of things on your plate, and yet you <laughs> just a few, and yet you make it look beautiful and fantastic. And so, so happy that you're going to be joining us and sharing with all of us how we can also make our busy look beautiful and feel good. Aw, uh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here and excited about what I get to share with everyone throughout the year. So, yes, so excited. So let's just jump right into it. What yeah. is making busy beautiful? What is the making busy beautiful mindset? Okay, so about it's been about 10 years. I was in the thick of having young kids. I have two sets of twins, one in between. My kids were all, you know, um under the age of six and I had started my LLC and was working part-time and I just, life was hard. It was, there was no way I was going to be like the mom I ever thought I would be. Like everything was, I had too big of a house, more people to take care of than I planned. <laughs> Not money, we were in the thick of the recession, right? Of 2008, which everyone remembers. Yes. What's weird is when we run into people who are adults who don't remember that. <laughs> oh my God. Like, where oh. were you? <laughs> yeah. Like they were 12. They had no right, idea. Right. <laughs> they had no idea. And uh, so it, in my mind, making busy beautiful, I developed this. I realized that I was living every day. It didn't matter. I made a decision to create beautiful every day. And it was about how I felt. And it was about how my family was responding, how my kids what my kids were feeling and how I was like, I had way more than I could handle, but right. I was finding a way to just embrace the now, embrace the mess, embrace the crazy and the uncertainty. And, and so making busy beautiful is really the mindset that I created and embraced to stay happy and reach my goals. Yes. Oh, and that's fantastic because really there's so many of us, I think, at every stage in life, you feel like you are just so busy, right? And it's more than we can handle. And, uh, you know, so, and you think, oh, well, when I get to this phase or when I get here, but, but the reality is, as we continue to get older, you know that this just continues to go yeah. on. So you have to learn how to, like you said, embrace and enjoy the stage that you're in. And I'm um, so happy that you're, you're here to, to help us do that because some of us, you know, we understand that and we want to enjoy the now, but how do we do that? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so the one thing that I've, you know, when I stepped away, I started, you know, I kind of embraced this and then I started really thinking about it because people responded to me when I was out in public, it didn't matter what like mundane task I was, you know, carrying out, but people, I just always found that I had 
I was always happy when I was interacting with strangers and there was always like joy and happiness. And people would always say, well, how come? What's the reason? Look at you. Like you're so busy. And I'm like, yeah, but this is life and this is, and, and everything is good. And so, you know, I, I just realized that like when I stepped away to really kind of break it down, if I wanted to tell someone, it's like, Hey, I know exactly who I am. I know who, what my purpose is right now. At that time, my purpose was raising kids and a good. It's kind of embracing the purpose, and um, but it really like daily to carry it out. I've noticed, you know, we're going through these roller coasters in life of good and bad and hardship, hard hard times, and. And I've always and I've always come back to the same spot of okay, I need to get perspective. I know who I am. Yep. I, I'm here. I know what I have to accomplish today, but I have to start my day off with something beautiful yes. and in a mindset of gratitude. Okay. I don't okay. wake up if and and I know that there are tons of people out there that speak on just gratitude only and there are all kinds of quotes and and things but it's always about finding some gratitude at the beginning of the day to get the right mindset that I'm going to have a great day right. and it doesn't matter what comes my way I mean this morning I had a mouse run through my kitchen floor oh, no. I'm not kidding I mean like I had two of my older daughters my high school Literally, I thought we're getting a cat fight out the <laughs> front seat in the driveway while I was taking the garbage can out. And I'm like, what is happening? Right. Always, there's, it's never, it's not pretty. Right. The things like that were, that are thrown at us when, you know, in the moment, but in the moment, like, I'm like, I'm going to have a great day right. today. <laughs> I have tea with Tracy at 12 yes. o'clock. So, like, this is going to be a great day, no matter what. So... So yeah, it's about grateful. Yeah, focusing. I mean, that really is, um, I mean, that is so key. And I had a very dear friend who, um, she passed away a couple years ago, but she, you know, the life challenges that she went through and always the focus on the gratitude and she had a very strong gratitude practice. But I think, like you said, it's very important not just to focus on what we're grateful for, but starting our day that way. Our yeah. minds are so powerful. And so if yeah. we pick and we choose what we want to focus on, um, you know, our, we, we, we tend to go in that direction, right? So if we're focusing on the good stuff and what we're looking forward to and what is positive, more of that comes, you know, you, you start to okay. head in that direction. And if you fo- if you want to focus on the negative things, then uh, you're probably going to see more of that. So why not pick out, you know what you're grateful for. And you know what I was thinking when you said about the mouse running through, I said, you probably looked at it and said, oh, but it's so cute. (laughs) Okay. Okay. (laughs) Granted, did I like, did I like seeing it? No, but in my mind, I knew, I knew I had to like, I knew I had a mouse. Right. Right. I've got my trap set. However, (laughs) when I saw it, it was so much smaller (laughs) and scary. So I was like, okay, it's not a rat. I I, I can catch little bugger and it's yeah. gonna be okay it just wants and, to be warm and, <laughs> and, and yeah, I was like and at least it wasn't like a whole family right, right. I'm like right. one right. I can do it right right I'll keep you posted yeah okay yes I, I want the update on that <laughs> so starting off with you know your day with gratitude that is definitely key um is what else what is, else are you doing that you know for to get into that mindset yeah um, okay, so I was very intentional last year uh, to to create what do I need in the first ten minutes I'm awake. What's my I created my morning routine. Okay, my routine is not at all what anyone else's might be, but you know, and I write it down, and now it's become a habit. Okay. And if I don't take that ten minutes, you know, it incorporates you know a little bit of devotional, a little bit of yoga stretching. I yeah. mean, literally sixty seconds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have to make my coffee, but I have my order. Um, I do a daily post, you know, not every day, but you know, I've been doing it for so long that people that only know me through social are like, start your day, something beautiful. You know, I like to post an inspiring picture of as a designer, this is what I find beauty in. Like, I think this is beautiful. So I'm going to share it. Yeah. 
I love. So, um, you know, it's I love just about kind of just a little bit of all the things, but just my, my mind set in a sense of gratitude, intention, positivity, and and then get there. And then and it does. And, nice. it, and you are. And so you're spreading that on to others. But because because you post like I know I enjoy your posts. Um, I follow you on social media as well. And so Thank like you. even the other day I saw the one and it, it seemed very simple, but it was like an entryway with a front door and the, cou- you know, the couch, the chair and, you know, yeah. just being able to look and appreciate that. Um, you know, some people might think, oh, it's an entry. But but really, again, with that, that's kind of the point, right? In everyday things, like there's always something beautiful and positive and just, you know, training your mind, you know, to, to look at the positives and the beauty in things. And yeah. um, it's definitely, it definitely changes your day, your, you know, your year, your life. So. Yeah. And it, it, it just makes every interaction you have um, better throughout yeah. the day. Yeah. And, and people get off of that, just like they do negativity. You know, if you're getting slammed, maybe with nothing's going right with the morning, or getting your people out the door. Yeah. It doesn't matter because if I can stay happy, calm, relaxed, then, but you know, by the time the cat fighters were getting out of the car, I'm like, <laughs> have a good day. And, you know, yeah. smirks, they weren't mad. They, you know, you just keep everyone, yeah. I don't know, you yeah. spread yeah, right. You can either, you know, create the calm or you can add to the chaos. So, <laughs> and like you said, the morning routine. So starting off your day and having, you know, those few things that kind of give you like a, a firm foundation in, in the right direction. And it doesn't have to take a long time. Like you said, yeah. yours is 10 minutes. So, and maybe some people, someone may only have five minutes and that's okay <laughs> because it's going to be different for everyone. There's no, um, this is the way it has to be. So just trial and error, right? Finding what yeah, works just for you. For what you need, everyone's going to need a little different in even the first two minutes. Sometimes, right. you know, so, um, it, it's just, it's just about exploring that, you know, who am I? What makes me happy? What do I need to start my day off? Right. And yeah. So starting off with a morning routine, focusing on gratitude, and it really yeah. does, it can change your entire perspective, right? And the way you um, look at life and interaction. So Yeah. So so that would would you say that's that's the making busy beautiful mindset and yes. you're going to be coming back each month, uh the third Tuesday of each month and you're going to be taking us through that, right? So yeah. A little bit more. Some is going to be, you know, more of an understanding of how different pieces affect us. And then you're yes. going to take us into some practical steps on what viewers can do to help, yeah. you know, make their life beautiful. Yeah, I'm so excited. I have, I do, there is a method to my madness. And as an interior designer, I come at, you know, things from a design perspective. And I focus on a few different, I kind of have a trifecta of areas in my life where it didn't matter how bad things got or how great things were those I would always come back to like three certain areas of my life that if I could keep myself going in those areas then everything I reach whatever goal I would or I would just be happier and I knew it was about finding a way to just stay happy right yeah and yeah. And so we're going to be talking about that next month, right? Next month, we're going to, we're going to head yes. into the making busy, sure. beautiful trifecta. So trifecta yeah. is, it's my passion. It's what I can't wait to get out and teach people more of. Uh, I just, I think it, it really helps me. And if I can share a little bit and help other people simplify their lives and, and maybe take a, a new approach to how they maybe spend their money or how they feel in their space or spend their time, then, then I'm doing my job. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad that we're, we're doing this. And you and I, that's why we kind of connected when we, even from the time we first met, because we both enjoy that, helping others, yeah. sharing information. How can we help make others' lives um, positive and, you know, just help. So I'm yeah. so excited to have you on and joining me throughout the year. And, um, so thank you very much. Yeah. And yeah, thank you. Gonna- yeah. It's going to be a great yeah. year. So okay. 
thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. We appreciate you. And uh, if you have any questions or anything you want to hear coming up on an upcoming episode or throughout our Making Busy Beautiful series this year, feel free to send a message and we'll be sure to, uh, to get your questions answered. So thank you so much, Holly, for your time yeah. today. Thank you for all you. for tuning in. And we'll see you next Tuesday on Team with Tracy. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye.